Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, my remote e-class. I hope you are all fine and doing great. Today I shall talk about the G1 phase of cell cycle. Now before going through the G1 phase of cell cycle, let us understand what is cell cycle. A cell cycle can be defined as a series of events that take place in a cell as it grows and divides. We can write it down like this, that a cell cycle can be defined as a series of events that takes place in a cell as it grows and divides. Now here is the diagram of the cell cycle as you can see that the cell cycle has two phases. one is the interphase stage another one is the divisional phase. Now the interphase consists of three phases you can see the G1 phase this one then it comes to the S phase, then it goes to G2 phase and then it moves to the mitotic phase which can be again subdivided into several stages that is uh, prophage, metaphage, aphase and telophase. Now G1 is also known as growth 1 phase or it is also known as post mitotic phase. Why it is called post mitotic phase? Post means after. So here you can see that this G1 phase is starting after this mitotic cell division. If telophase ends then this G1 phase starts. So it is known as the post mitotic phase. So what is the other name of it? It also known as the pre-synthetic phase. Why it is called pre-synthetic phase? We all know that this S phase is known as the synthetic phase where the DNA gets replicated. And as you can see that G1 phase is happening before the S phase. That means it is the pre-phase. Pre-phase of which one? Pre-phase of S phase. That means this phase comes before the S phase starts. So it is called the pre-synthetic phase. Now as you can see in this diagram that G1 is the first phase of the cell cycle. Now you can also see in this diagram that the G1 phase takes the maximum time to get completed. That means G1 is the longest phase. Now in this phase of cell cycle the cell decides whether it will progress to the S phase through the restriction points or through the checkpoints or it will move to the G0 phase. G0 is also known as G0 phase. Now what are these restriction points or checkpoints? There are several checkpoints throughout the cell cycle and in the G1 phase there is also restriction point or the checkpoint. The name of this is CG1 or this is also known as G1 cycling. Now the question is what is cycling? Cycling is actually a family of proteins it controls the progress of cell to the cell cycle. So how does it uh, control this one? By activating CDK. What is this CDK? Cycling dependent kinase. It is actually a group of enzymes which is required for the synthesis of cell cycle. Now let us see what are the reasons behind a cell entering into the G0 phase. A cell can enter into the G0 phase if there is a DNA damage. Now there are two possibilities. This DNA damage cannot be corrected. This DNA damage may be corrected. Now if this DNA damage cannot be corrected, then what happens? There is a stop in CDK2 and CYCE. These are the checkpoints there will be just will be a stoppage here and as a result what will happen a cell cannot enter into the S phase because with the damage DNA it cannot move to the cell cycle further so it will be stopped in the G0 phase if it gets corrected then what will happen the CDK2 and CYCE they will allow 
the cell to enter into the cell cycle again and it will move to the S phase. So we can say that entering into the G0 phase may be permanent or may be temporary. When it is permanent, if the DNA damage cannot be corrected, cannot be rectified, and when and if it can be corrected, then it we call it temporary. Now let us see what are the substances synthesized in G1 phase. First, messenger RNA, then proteins, then amino acid, then nucleotides, then ATP. Now all these substances are required for the growth of a cell, for the development of a cell. I hope you have understood G1 phase today. If you have any doubt or query, then do comment in the comment section box. I shall definitely reply. If you like my video, then do like and do share. Thank you for watching.